welcome back to Mitford Pottery. A slightly different video for you today. Now, what we do here at the pottery is we do experience days. So you can come in for two hours, have an hour on the wheel, and the second hour uh, we decorate some pre-prepared cups. So we're going to run through what we do. So these are 450 grams or 500 between that and it's a simple thrown cup no handle just a nice relatively thick thrown because we're going to carve into it so we will get the camera on the wheel and we'll run through what we do so these are mainly done on the Shimpo RK5T tabletop wheel, very nice wheel, probably is pricey for a small wheel but they are pretty good, you can throw and do pretty much anything you can do on a big wheel, see my review further down my timeline of videos. So we do a basic trim on there just to smooth this edge off, so we just tap centre it like so. And then we just smooth that bottom edge off. And what I do is I put a little chamfer in there, like 45 degree. which sort of elevates the cup when it's placed on a surface. And then you can check the base, the base is alright, it's got our cut off wire marks on it. Just run a, a forefinger over that sharp edge just to smooth it off like so. That's it for the trimming. Now, maker's mark, just uh, plonk that on one of the edges, give it a mark like that. Now, so it's basically scraffito that we're going to do on the surface. And we've got two colours, I've got one here which we've just done. So it is school buff clear, school buff slip with scarver nano colours additives to give it the colour so we do a blue and a black and today we're going to do the blue now I've just added a bit of water to a pot of slip so I'm just going to give it a quick shake like so Oh, we'll put our little bottle top on so we don't mark the bottom. Give it a spin. So we just apply our first coat of coloured slip. First coat is usually the hardest one to get to take. As the clear is still absorbing the new layer of clear so it goes a bit patchy to start with so what I tend to do is I'll run round like that stop the wheel and then any initial bits that we've missed we just give it a manual coat just to get that base coat of colour relatively consistent. Right, so that's that bit. Now, the next bit, you've got to let that dry. 
because what we're going to do is burnish it. Now I'll cut this bit out because what we do, we use a heat gun to speed the process up, we'll dry the surface. So I'm going to start this and then I'll see you in a minute when that's done because it's noisy. Right, so we've done that, so we just take the shine off it and next a nice quick way of burnishing it use a teaspoon to burnish, that's our burnishing surface put our top on there and then we apply that to the surface and you'll see it and it basically compresses the surface and you'll see that start to go nice and consistent and we just work our way up and down with the spoon till it's all the same flat surface so it gets rid of all the brush marks etc and because we're doing it on the wheel you don't have to manually do much, you just let the wheel do the work for you. So we'll start at the bottom, get that bottom edge done. Work our way around. There, so there's, so we do that. Then, to make it extra nice, Put a second coat on. So again, we're just going to apply our slip. And the second coat usually goes on a bit better. Because it's got that nice surface to adhere to. Or burnished surface. So we give it another coat, all the way at the bottom edge, make sure we haven't missed any bits. Like that, so that's the painting part done. Then what I normally do because we've, we've just overlapped that edge, I'll just quickly run the trimming tool over that edge. Just do where. Uh, any bits that we need and a bit on the bottom there so it's looking good so again I'm just going to heat this up so I'll be back in a second right that's that done no oh, another bottle top back on so now that that's dried we're going to burnish it a second time so we Use our teaspoon, light pressure, run that down the cup. Right, give it a check, a few marks. Let's check our burnishing. So make sure there's no white powder on our hands off the clear dust. Now it does go a bit damp because we've applied some warm moisture to it. So got to be a little bit careful picking it up because it goes a bit soft. And then what I think I will do is just Run the finger around that top edge. In fact, we will. 
we'll give it a quick trim. Just to get rid of that rough edge. And there we have a cup ready for a nice scraffito design to go on there. So we'll put that there. We'll let them dry a little bit more. And next time you see them, they will be on our Facebook page when someone's carved a lovely design into them. So thanks for watching. Remember, clears the way, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now.